Please don't! Come on, back to the bomb. Why are you doing this? I can just kill you here. But the boss likes to play this little guessing game with the splat marks on the pavement. Come on, move! Who are you? I'm here to help. There are more of them. They have my co-workers. They're... they're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry! The bat ain't showing up. You all right if we ice these guys? Yeah, what the hell? Let's do this. Just we can kill them. Guys, look. Hi, Ma! Hey, Vicky! Come here, baby! Get a shot of this! Oh, oh! I'll squeeze the brains out of your head! are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer.
just couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Who guess the fireworks are going off early? <laughs> Not now, Alfred. Sir, are you all right? Your voice... I'm fine, Alfred. I've dealt with psychopaths before, but this... Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. I see the Joker's men here have been eliminated. Good work. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not get past us. And this is the only way to the penthouse. We can hope you're right, but only time will test your words. The bat is coming. Yes, I boys. <laughs> Too bad. Your boss and I made a Can you move? 
over, I repeat that! We have to do better than this! We lost a brother!
nice of you to drop in. <laughs> and just in time. Oh, he's my parasol. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see, it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... One. <laughs> How many lives did you just take? None! I think? That was just a little stalking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> But this one isn't. I've long waited for this moment. With your death, I will find peace. you can do. Over here, Batman! At 
Actually, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. 
He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Save your sorry ass. You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're going to do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beaten on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. <laughs> There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word associations? That sounds... Delightful. Acceptance. Oh, now that's a little tried, isn't it? Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. <laughs> okay, one more, and I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a wild world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own. It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. And no one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere into just emptiness. Now you feel like 
you've got someone by your side to share the journey with you. And how does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, ha. I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. A bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. Take the story back to the precinct. What is he that? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do.